Positive updates in developing a COVID-19 vaccine. Scientists at Oxford University claims their treatment has led to immune response from everyone who received the shot. Choi Jong-yun has the latest. A potential COVID-19 vaccine developed by Oxford University has reportedly produced a promising immune response in a large early-stage human trial. According to a data published Monday in the medical journal The Lancet, 100 percent of some 1,000 participants in the trial developed antibodies. Jointly developed with pharmaceutical giant AstraZeneca, the vaccine also produced killer T cells that help patients combat the infection by attacking the infected cells. What we now need to find out is whether the group who have the coronavirus vaccine are protected and they don't get disease. And that needs time for those cases to accumulate within the clinical trial to give us confidence, statistically speaking, about whether the vaccine works. Other vaccine developers also had positive news with America's Pfizer and Germany's BioNTech successfully immunizing their 60 participants. Pfizer and BioNTech now plan to begin testing on some 30,000 volunteers this month to prove the efficacy of their vaccine. Human trials on treatments for the virus are also accelerating. The effects of treatments like remdesivir and hydroxychloroquine remain uncertain and are only reported to work on limited groups. But a convalescent plasma therapeutic, which uses COVID-19 antibodies extracted from recovered patients, is on the rise as an alternative. A website by the U.S. National Institutes of Health that tracks clinical trials in action shows the number of clinical trials for a plasma treatment increased to around 120 in July. That's up from just three trials in March. But while it's considered one of the most practical treatments for the virus, ramping up collection of the plasma is proving a challenge. Choi Jong-yoon, Arirang News.